Now to Clorox, warning of a shortage of some of its products as it recovers from a cyber attack that impacted operations. Our chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, is here with details for us. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning to Robin, and this is tough timing as we enter flu season. Clorox, which is known for a bunch of household bleach products that kill harmful bacteria, disclosing it was the victim of a cyber attack in August, and that a month later today, that attack is still causing wide-scale disruption to the company's operations. Now, initially, Clorox took some of its systems offline to address the problem. That resulted in a lower rate of order processing. Now, it's also affecting product, uh, product availability and the company says it believes the threat is contained today but it is still addressing the damage from it. Clorox expects to start going back to normal next week but they can't estimate yet how long it's going to take to fully resume and it's warning that this is all going to have a material impact on Q1 financial results but they can't say yet if there's going to be a long-term impact for the company. It all comes on the heels of a massive suspected cyber attack on MGM resorts last week that brought chaos to Las Vegas. There were issues with hotel room keys, even slot machines weren't working, and guests waited in line for long hours at the check-ins. And the attacks, guys, they just show how all these companies, they invest millions, even billions of dollars into cybersecurity, and they are still vulnerable to hacking. Still vulnerable, but boy, those attacks are so alarming. Yes. Rebecca, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.